All right, guys, how are you? It is Pat, of course. And we're going into one-legged squats today with a stability ball. All right, let me tell you, I just went through a rehearsal of this and it's not easy. So just be prepared, okay? If you don't have a stability ball, okay, then we're just gonna do a basic squat. And if you need to get a chair or a bench to modify that, then make sure you do that before we get started. Otherwise, if you have a stability ball, I at least want you to try it. And just so you know, it took me five or six of them before I actually figured out where my balance issues were so that I could focus on that particular section, okay? So let's get busy. All right, our trusted stability ball again. Trusted, I don't know about that, right? All right, so left leg is the one that's gonna be working. Right leg comes up on this ball. Looks like Captain Morgan, right? I want you to press that heel out into that ball. Now, this ball, what's going to happen is this, as you come into a squat with that left leg, this ball is going to roll out. Don't lose it, okay? Because that's what I did, about fell forward. So, the further you roll it out, the harder it is. And also, the further you roll it out is how low you're going to come into that squat. So what I want you to make sure of is that you keep an eye on that knee and make sure it doesn't shoot out past that toe, all right? So foot is up, hands are center. This knee is going to bend, and as it bends, this leg is going to roll out, okay? Down, I'm gonna squat, leg is straight, still got a hold of that ball, and roll it right back up. Squat, hold, and right back up, and do it again, squat, Hold, and right back up. Good, these actually feel really good. And it's working my core, because I've got stability taken away from me. The ball has taken my balance. Out, right back up. Make sure that knee stays behind that foot. Out, and right back up. Good, now for your sets on that, you're actually going to do, I want you to aim for 15 on each side. Before you take a break, you go right into that other side. And I didn't rehearse this side. We'll see which side is worse, right? So you need a nice distance between you and the ball, keeping the shoulder right over this hip. Foot's up on that ball. Hands are center, all right? Squat, oh, there we go. And pull it back in. Good, squat. Almost lost it. And then right back in. Squat. And right back in. I notice this ball keeps wanting to roll backwards. Squat, and right back up. So aim for 15 on each side, and then you can take a break. You're gonna do that hamstring quad stretch, same one you've seen in the other videos. Notice we're getting a lot of legs here in the last couple days. So you can automatically imagine what we're going to the next time. So that is it. If you do not have a stability ball, I want feet shoulder width apart, and you're gonna go into basic squatting and lift. Squat and lift. And if you need a bench or a chair, then I want you to sit until you feel your glutes barely touch and come right back up. Slow, right back up. Slow, right back up. Everything is slow and controlled for these movements, okay? And if you're doing your basic squatting, then you're gonna aim for 20 squats. Take a break for that hamstring. Why do I keep doing that? I don't know why I keep doing that. It's like, it's, it, it's my nemesis. Quad, hamstring. Do your quad and hamstring stretches. Go into your second set. Aim for 20. Okay, and then your third set. So you're going to do three complete sets. My people that are doing one leg at a time, you have to do the right and the left. That's one set. Make sure that you aim for 15 on each side. Let me know how you like these, okay? I'm really curious as to what you thought. Like, did you wobble around? Was anybody watching you? Did you fall? Hopefully not. I don't want you to hurt yourself. And that's it. And I'll see you guys next time.